Hi, Eric Dietjes Guru here, and today we're going to be talking about what is intelligence. Intelligence is an abstract concept, which has many aspects to it, and is hard to defi define definitively. Yet it is difficult to discuss artificial intelligence without having an idea of what constitutes intelligence itself. If we ask a group of people to describe what it means to be intelligent, we might find answers such as the ability to respond to the environment, the ability to learn new knowledge or skills, the ability to logic or reason an outcome to a conclusion, the ability to learn from experience, the ability to make evaluations or judgments, or if you Google what is intelligence, you get the ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills. When is technology intelligence? In 1950, famous English mathematician and computer scientist Alan Turing proposed an experiment to test whether or not a machine is intelligent. Canned the Turing test, the experiment involves a human judge who asks questions to two contestants, one of which is a computer terminal and one which is a human being, without knowing which is which. From the answers he receives, the judge must try to determine which contestant is a computer and which is the human. If the judge, LC, is not only able to determine this, Turing suggests that the machine should be considered intelligent. Put simply, Turing considered a machine to be intelligent if it could pass itself as a human. CAPTCHAs CAPTCHA images are commonly used when posting comments on forums and when creating new user accounts online. These completely automated public Turing tests to tell computers and humans apart are designed to prevent spam bots from posting advertising and comments or creating false accounts. CAPTCHAs display a deformed text, which will hopefully be legible to a human being but not to a computer. If a computer, in this case an automated program, is able to read the text correctly, it has, in this case, made itself indistinguishable from a human and could be have said to have passed the Turing test. In fact, researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, have succeeded in creating programs that can frequently read more basic CAPTCHAs. Deep Blue and Watson. First, we'll talk about Deep Blue, and this is where artificial intelligence really gets pretty interesting. Deep Blue was a supercomputer designed by IBM for the purpose of playing chess. Deep Blue featured 480 dedicated chess playing processors which could evaluate more than 200 million chess moves per second. Additionally, th thousands of grandmaster games were pre-programmed into the computer's move database. During play, Deep Blue used a variety of techniques to determine the best move. Some aspects of the game, such as the importance of keeping the queen safe compared to the importance of attacking moves, were determined based on heuristic rules. The best move at any time was computed using brute force searching, which looked up to 20 moves ahead. Deep Blue played world chess champion Gray Kasparov in 1996 and lost. After upgrading, the two played a rematch in 1997. Kasparov took the first game, Deep Blue the second, the third, fourth, and fifth games were all draws. Deep Blue won the final game to take the match, becoming the first computer to beat a reigning world chess champion. The victory was not without controversy, however. Kasparov accused IBM of cheating during the second match, claiming a human grandmaster took, uh, took control over Deep Blue at a critical point to avoid the computer repeating a previous mistake, an accusation IBM naturally denied, which actually brings up an interesting point. If this man Kasparov was able to notice a mistake in the uh, Deep Blue's programming, it would make sense that that same mistake would be repeated again if he were to do the exact same thing. So he does have a valid argument there. And here is a chess program, and you can see how there are multiple formulas on the right-hand side that are being used by the program to see multiple moves ahead as to what it's going to do. And a second computer that was created by IBM is Watson. And Watson made another significant venture into the world of artificial intelligence in 2006 with the Watson computer. Watson was a significant advance, being designed to answer questions written in natural language. 
within a much larger area of knowledge than limited expert systems, such as Deep Blue. Watson stored over 4 terabytes of data, consisting of over 200 million pages of information, including the entire Wikipedia. When posed a question, Watson used a combination of natural language processing and search to analyze questions and generate thousands of possible answers. These were then analyzed further to generate confidence ratings for each answer. In 2011, Watson was given a major test when it competed against two humans in the U.S. television quiz show Jeopardy. As you can see in this picture right here, Watson is uh, the one in the middle. Watson, despite giving the occasional humorous answer, won each match by a significant margin. And I guess what they mean by humorous answer is they'd ask a question and he'd intend to be giving a serious answer, but it was misunderstood, the question was misunderstood, and therefore his answer was kind of humorous because it was way off base. Achieving Artificial Intelligence Here's a quote by Steven Pinker, the main lesson of 35 years of artificial intelligence research is that the hard problems are easy and the easy problems are hard. The mental abilities of a four-year-old that we take for granted, recognizing a face, lifting a pencil, walking across a room, answering a question, in fact solve some of the hardest engineering problems ever conceived. A lot of the skills we learn later in life, science, math especially, are relatively easy for machines to tackle. Broadly speaking, the tasks which are easy for computers in those for which a clear series of steps or instructions can be written. The difficult tasks, however, are those for which there is no clear, fixed setup or steps to follow. What is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence, or AI, refers to systems that simulate intelligence through a series of quite rigid facts or rules. The focus of artificial intelligence is to create systems that give the appearance of human-like intelligence, even if the method of achieving the intelligence is vastly different from those used by humans. The focus of AI is on the results. Often such AI systems focus on specific areas of knowledge, for example, playing chess, rather than trying to create a general intelligence which can work for all situations. What is computational intelligence? Computational intelligence, or CI, approach focuses on creating systems that think in the same way that humans think. In other words, CI is focused on creating systems that learn, develop, and reach optimal solutions based on past experiences, just like a human being can. The focus of computational intelligence is a method by which the results are obtained. Different than artificial intelligence, which is obviously more uh, structured, it's steps X, Y, Z, and that's why they're better at math and science and things of that nature, things that can be pre-programmed rather than problem solving, which is what computational intelligence is for. And here's a little story about the Chinese room. And I'm, I'm repeating this off memory, but I think I got a good hang of it here. Basically what it's about is there's a man in a room behind a door, and all that he speaks is English. He doesn't speak Chinese at all. And in this room with this man, are a whole bunch of books containing Chinese characters. And in each book, there'll be a list of Chinese questions, which are represented by characters, and then the corresponding answers to these questions. Now, Chinese people, Chinese speakers, are sliding questions under these doors, written in Chinese. Obviously, it's one character. And the man then goes and takes this character, looks up in a book that exact character, and finds the reasonable answer, writes down that answer on a piece of paper and slides it back under the door. Now, the person on the other side of the door doesn't know that this man doesn't speak Chinese. They're, they're probably pretty sure that he does speak Chinese because he just gave him a pretty good answer to their question in Chinese. Now, the analogy here is this is kind of what artificial intelligence is doing. Artificial intelligence doesn't actually, a lot of times, computational intelligence might, but artificial intelligence does not understand what we're asking. It doesn't understand the concept that we're asking. It's capable of processing the request, finding the answer, and then providing that answer to us. And that brings up a couple questions. If a computer replaced the person in a large database, replaced the books, would the computer know Chinese? Now basically the computer would be doing the exact same thing as the person in the circumstance. And I would argue that, no, the computer would not know Chinese. 
I'd say the computer would know how to translate English to Chinese, and it would know how to find an answer to a question that's written in Chinese. It would be able to find the answer in Chinese, but it would not know how to speak Chinese. And does the system, a combination of the room, the person, and the books, know Chinese? Well, I guess that's kind of a TOK thing. There has to be a knower there. And if there's no, I mean, if there's a person there, and presumably they read all the books and understood Chinese, then they would know Chinese. But if they don't actually know the content in the books, and the books can't know Chinese themselves because they're books, they're just pieces of information that have to be processed by someone who is intelligent, then no, I would argue that the system itself does not know Chinese. Although these are questions open to interpretation, and of course people can have their own opinions on that, and you can leave that in the comments, that'd be great. But uh, last question is, does it even matter whether the room, person, or books know Chinese, provided a valid answer is given? And in my opinion, no, it doesn't. I mean, if you're more uh, technology-oriented, you're more interested in how it knows it, why it knows it, that kind of stuff, you know, you might have a different opinion on that matter. But if I ask it a question in Chinese and I want it to give me the answer in Chinese and it does it properly, I don't really care how it does it as long as it's doing it. And here's a bibliography of some useful sources that were used in creating this video. And uh, one of them is www.cnn.com, and you can find a lot more information on the Watson computers and different computers on that website than just the picture. And here at ITGS Guru, we close with, stay nerdy, my friends.